Actually, there are a few teams right now that I think are surprising people, which is fun, I think, as a fan. But Cavs, they finished the season last year and we thought, OK, this could be a fun team to watch. Let's keep our eye on it. And then they add Donovan Mitchell and now they're dominating. He's 30 points in, what, five of last six games. Do you, we think that this Cavs team has enough to really compete with some of the elites in the Eastern Conference? Eddie, you want to start? Yeah, I mean, I think if you're going to get this Donovan Mitchell, yeah. And we've yet to see them with Darius Garland. He, he only played in the first game and he got hurt. Um, but he's proven himself as a big playoff performer. The way the roster is set up, it's set up for playoff basketball. Chandler, you know, we all know in, in the playoffs, it comes down to, you know, can you guard this guy? We're going to do everything we can to get our guys in, in their spaces. And can you do that? And Donovan is one of the best ISO scorers in the league. And Garland is building himself into that. And with the athletic front line and all the shooting they surround those two guys with, they're 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 a dark horse in the East for sure. And if they can remain healthy while some of these older teams have to deal with all of that, you you, you never know what we could see. I saw thirty and ten from Donovan Mitchell last night, <laughs> and there were points in the last couple of years where the Jazz thought about making Donovan Mitchell their full time point guard because they felt like he would play better on the ball, have more assists, play make. He had that ability. He could really be like. James Harden for them. So they toyed around with that uh, that idea, and I think at times it was successful. But we've seen with Darius Garland out uh, basically all season so far. They've played Donovan Mitchell primarily at the point, and he's played at a great level. The team is looking good. So there's no question. They have the they have the firepower. They have the depth to do it, to be competitive in the, in the Eastern Conference playoffs. But I want to see this team with, with Darius Garland. I want to see this team with his creativity. How does he coexist with Donovan Mitchell? Because that was definitely a big question going into this Cavs season. Yeah, this reminds me a lot of last year when when Sexton went down and kind of Garland took that jump. And I think it's actually going to pay off for Donovan. A new team, new city, new system. Um, he's had these last couple of games without Garland to kind of get his feet wet, get comfortable. So I agree. Once Garland comes back, it'll be interesting to see those two guys coexist who runs point, who looks to score on any given night. But honestly, shout out JB Bickerstaff, man. He's, he's my favorite coach I ever had. Um, I talked to him last night and he just said, these guys are having fun. They're, they're sacrificing, they're playing unselfish. And you can, you can walk when you watch them play, they're, they're giving up the open shot for a, a, a more open shot. They're, they're getting the crowd involved. It's, it's packed. Like it, it, it looks like it's fun in Cleveland right now. And they have a young, deep team guys like Dean Wade and Kevin love. Like these guys are, are, are factors. And it makes me so happy for JB because he's an awesome dude. He's one of those coaches that you want to play hard for. You want to win for he's relatable. He's one of the guys and he's brilliant X's and O's and defensively. So I, I definitely like them. And, and man, Donovan Mitchell, he's better than advertised. He he's going. You know, Kevin Love is a great point. And it's something that I want to touch on as well. Looking at his old AAU buddy, his old UCLA buddy, Russ, this is kind of the role he could embrace. Kevin Love hit eight threes last night. He's a champion. He's played in <laughs> humongous games with this franchise. He's the longest tenured calf. And he accepted a six man role off the bench. It's only helped that team, him, ha him providing that spacing. He's in there late in games. He's finishing games with them in the right matchups. Um, they're a deep team. I think they played 12 guys yesterday and that's without Garland. So there's a lot to love about this team uh, as they continue to get better throughout the season as well, build continuity. I am curious about the kind of distributing the ball handling duties between the two guys, but I think it'll help Donovan to be able to be a secondary ball handler at certain points in games and then to finish it with the ball in his hand. Um, yeah, and it, they're going to float under the radar as well with all the things going on in the East, the teams that are at the top, the Bucs are undefeated, the Celtics just went to the finals, the Nets are with the Nets are. Uh, they got a really good chance to get into the top three, have some home court, and yeah, you get the right matchups. They could be in the conference finals this year for sure. And they do play at Boston on Wednesday. So that's 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 a must-see game. And who'd have thunk we'd be saying that a couple years ago about Cleveland? I kind of love it.